are a uh, part of ICH. So EFPIA, as I said, is a part of the ICH. Then you have uh, JPMA. JPMA stands for Juvenile Product Manufacturer Association. Okay. Then you have Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare, which is the uh, regulatory authority of Japan, MHLW. Okay. Health Canada is a part of ICH. EFTA stands for um, European Free Trade Association, is a part of ICH. WHO is a part of ICH. CIOMS is a part of WHO, so indirectly part of ICH. PHRMA is Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America, I think, that, yeah. And FDA, we all know, is the regulatory authority of US. Okay. So all these associations, they are part of the ICH and they collectively came up with the ICH guidances. Okay. Now, as I said, uh, the pharmacovigilance guidances, they fall under the efficacy guidance, efficacy, efficacy section. Okay. Um, ICH guidances are one of the most important guidances in pharmacovigilance. Uh, you need to read them, not all of them. I'll tell you which ones, but you have to be very thorough with uh, ICH guidances, okay? But as I said, every ca country has adopted these ICH guidances. They have made minor changes in the ICH guidances and they have released it as their own country's guidance. Okay, so but because ICH forms the basis of all the country's uh, guidances, it's very important that we know the ICH guidances. Okay, so uh, I have to tell, I will tell you actually which ICH guidances are very important and you should read them. Uh, if you are very thorough with these guidances, I'm sure you can crack any interview because as I said, all the procedures and pharmacovigilance processes, they are based on this ICH guidances because we have to fulfill the requirements given by ICH, right? So the E2A guidance, okay, leave the E1. Um, E2 section of efficacy is for IC, uh, for pharmacovigilance, okay? So from E2A to E2F, this is dedicated to pharmacovigilance. E2A stands for Clinical Safety Data Management Definition and Standards for Expedited Reporting. Okay, so this particular guidance, the ICH E2A guidance, uh, talks about pharmacovigilance of investigational products. Okay, whatever are the regular terminologies that we use on daily basis while performing pharmacovigilance of investigational product is present in ICH E2A, okay? It's a very small guidance. I would say only, I think, 10 or 12 page guidance. It only has definitions and certain uh, expectations of the ICH, okay? You all have to read it. They are easily available on Google. So if you actually, go um, on Google, and uh, just type ICH E2A PDF. So this is the ICH E2A guidance. It's just a 12 page guidance. You, um, and the first two, three pages are just the introduction and indexes. And you just have to read this, okay? It talks about adverse experience, adverse drug reaction, what is an unexpected reaction, what is a serious reaction, everything, okay? Um, everyone has to be very well versed with this particular guidance, okay? 